Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. That way you can stay up to date with all the new Slice Lucas videos. Today, I'm doing something different. I'm gonna break down, kind of give my little recap of the Philadelphia Eagles game. This week, we had the New York Jets. Pretty good outing for us today. Final score, 31 to six. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run down kind of my thoughts uh, on the game today. Some notes that I took, share with you guys, see what you guys think. If you agree, disagree with anything, you're an Eagles fan as well, drop a comment below and we can keep the conversation going. I'd love to see how many Eagles fans are out there from all around. We'd love to connect with you guys. So let me know if you're out there I'd love to hear from you. All right, so this week we face off at home against the New York Jets. Jets are 0-3 this season, just coming off a of bye week. Uh, we're 10-0 all the time against them. I'm feeling pretty confident. However, it is the NFL. Anything can happen. You never know who's going to show up. Can't take anything for granted. All right, let's get into it. As far as what I thought about the offense, I thought Carson Wentz did a really good job connecting with Alshon Jeffrey and Zach Ertz today. He was in, in tune with both of those guys today. There were a few uh, of Wentz's passes that I thought were uh, a little high and a little low, a couple overthrown, but overall, I thought he did a pretty decent job. He got out of that game with no, no interceptions, so that's pretty good. He, he does that again. I think he's like uh, like 120 some attempts with without an uh, interception, so yeah, you gotta like that. I had a couple of those passes been connected and uh, not dropped. I know we had some drop passes, which is an issue for us. We got to get over that as well. We could have advanced the offense a little bit further. I thought we left a lot of offense on the field. I know the score kind of reflects uh, a blowout 31 to six, but really only half of those came from the, half of those points came from the offense. The defense had a, had a really big day today. Had we capitalized on a couple more of those offensive opportunities, I think the, the score could have been a lot higher and we could have uh, done some better. So that offense has got to tighten up. I think we punted the ball like five times today. So I would have liked to see that less. Sanders and Howard, I thought uh, they did played really well today. I really like those young guys. I think they make a great tandem back there for us. I like our aggressiveness on fourth down, going for it. I think we got a really bad spot on the one fourth and one that we went for it on the QB sneak. I wish they would have looked at that a little bit better because I think we probably should have got a better spot on that and got the first down. Like I said, overall, I thought the offense played all right. Did think we left some things out there on the field that we need to tighten up and get a little bit better on, especially if we want to be a playoff contending team. I think one of the other issues that we had today was our penalties. I think we really need to cut those down. A lot of them came on the offensive end, so we got to be a little bit more disciplined. But then again, there were a lot of penalties called on the Jets as well. So it wasn't like it was one-sided or anything like that. I just felt like some of those penalties is, is just a discipline thing. We need to tighten those up. All right, now let's talk about the defense. The defense balled out hands down. We brought the pressure all day long. We went into this game with only three sacks total in four games. Um, we had 10 total today. Brandon Graham was out there just, man, bringing the heat. Congratulations to all the guys getting sacks today. That was huge. We really brought the pressure. I thought the secondary played uh, pretty well today. Douglas had some really good coverage, getting in there, tipping passes away. Oh, we had the two interceptions, one of them being a pick six. Gotta like that. And then we we had Skandrick coming in, stripping the ball and taking it down for a touchdown. He was at home like, I don't know, 10 days ago and gets a call, gets to the team and here he is stripping the ball, scoring a TD. Crazy, crazy story. So I'm sure he's excited to get in there and have a big game like that right off the bat. Congratulations to that whole entire defense. They definitely should get the game ball today because they balled out for sure. Oh, and I wanted to address that muff botch punt uh, with Clement. I really thought from my angle that the ball bounced off uh, the foot and he had to make a play on it. So he was doing the best he could in that split moment. Um, I don't knock him for trying to make a play on that. Had we got that, they wouldn't have got that end around and scored that touchdown and, and we would have probably shut him out. So yeah, I don't think there's anything you can knock him for on that. I think it was a pretty heads up play by him. I thought we looked pretty healthy and well rested for being off for 10 days. I think that, that really helped everybody. I thought we looked a little rejuvenated. Everybody seemed to get out of there pretty healthy today with the exception of Sproles. And I haven't seen anything yet since the game's been over to what the diagnosis was on that or how that's going to go. So uh, best of luck to him and hopefully it's not too serious and we can get him back out on the field. 
All right, five weeks in, what do you guys think? We have, uh, we're three and two. Um, our losses and our wins haven't been separated by uh, too much margin of victory with the exception of today. Our two wins, we won by five and seven. And our losses, we lost by three and four. I just feel if, if we just tighten up uh, some of those small little things, mechanical things, that we can uh, definitely be a good solid team this year and we could have avoided um, two of those close losses that we can't afford to have any more of this season. Defense, wise I thought we played really well today I don't think you can take anything away from that defense offense wise um, looked all right I think we left some things out there we need to tighten up uh, some of that stuff get better and improve on that we're gonna need that against the Vikings and the Cowboys and, and we also got the Patriots coming up here uh, in about a month or so somewhere around there so definitely got to improve I'm definitely proud of the guys uh, today happy for them 11 and 0 now all time against the Jets all right, next week, week six, we got the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I'm hoping Deshaun Jackson will be healthy and ready to go. I'm excited to see him uh, really get into it and get in rhythm this season. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the games, what you're looking forward to next week, thoughts, predictions. Let me know. Like I said, this is the first time me doing one of these videos, breaking down uh, some football, kind of letting you in uh, on my favorite team and what I get excited about every fall. All right, guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the game. Just comment below, and we'll keep the conversation going. And that's it for this week's recap. Eagles take the Jets 31-6. to I'm definitely looking forward to week six, taking on the Vikings on the road. We got three road games coming up. I'd definitely like to see us at least get out of there two and one. I think we could we can definitely get three and oh. Playing on the road in the NFL can be tough. So hopefully, uh, like I said, we can get out three and oh on this road stretch. But uh, really think if we get out two and one, that'll be all right. I can handle that. All right, guys, until next week, fly, Eagles, fly, go, Bird Gang. Let's go, Philly.